Hello, hello everybody. How are you doing on this gorgeous Friday afternoon? Welcome, welcome to the daily live show. Today is our fourth day and everything's working really well. All the live streaming is going good and um, we're finally, uh, you know, cracked the code on the echoing of the um, mic. Uh, microphone as well. So all that's really good. I'm just going to quickly share this video. Bear with me. And then we'll crack on with our topic for today. Lovely. So that's good. So how is everybody? How are you on this amazing Friday afternoon? Um, I've got that Friday feeling today as well. Um, it's just nice, isn't it, to look forward to a, a gorgeous Friday evening and a wonderful, wonderful, relaxing weekend. Hello, beautiful Anne. How are you, darling? Nice to have you here. <laughs> um, I'm just talking about enjoying the Friday afternoon um, and, you know, really, really soaking in this warmth. It's not a, you know, blue, blue sky day today, um, and uh, but it's warm and um you know, you're feeling the, the sun rays within you, actually. Um, so, yeah, I've been embracing that and sitting here in the conservatory to absorb all the sun. You know, we've, we've got to um, maximize what's happening. Be it the weather, get outside, you know, if the sun's shining, enjoy that. And um, sort of live with the seasons and live with the earthly elements. And we, we forget that, you know, we've become so... Gosh, like I said yesterday, conveyor belt people, um, which is just ridiculous. You know, we just seem to be running from one end to the other, chasing our own tails, getting bloody nowhere. You know, real talk here, people. There's no beating around the bush on this show. <laughs> we are saying it as it is. Like it or leave it, right? Um, but it's true. You know, we're just running and running and running and losing losing the moment and the best part is the the fun and the excitement and the amazement is in the journey not in the destination you know the magic happens when you are journeying through life journeying through things you know you see the beauty of every moment in that when you reach the destination guess what you're like okay this is very nice um now what's next you see what i mean continuous to do to do to do to do to do and then what so uh, i thought i'll start off with that because it's something that i've been thinking about and that's been on my mind as well actually how we're just going from one thing to the other and not stopping and not enjoying and not connecting um you know with people you know social media is great and i love this platform is absolutely beautiful and it's so wonderful to connect with everybody um but we lose that humanly connection we lose <clears throat> we lose that um you know getting in touch with nature and really really living from that space so that's for another day's topic but for today's topic let's get to today's topic um, for today's topic, I'm sure you've seen, um, you know, oh, bear with me two seconds. My post has gone off on my other screen. You know, we're learning every day with this technology, um, and it's been lots of fun. Lovely. So, before um, we've done the introduction of the show, um, but before we get to the topic, um, let's do the business side of the show. So I'm the owner of this Facebook page, Just Meet Atacracy, Lifestyle and Mindset Expert. And I'm also the owner of a lovely website called www.justmeetatacracy.com. And it's all about um, what I teach is all about inspired conscious living and really walking our truth and really living in our light and accepting ourselves for who we are and loving ourselves for who we are and sharing that acceptance and sharing that love 
with others around us to inspire us. Um, so do check my website out. It's, it's pretty cool. It's growing. So I'm learning lots of new things to pop on there. And I'm going to start making it a lot more interactive as well for you um, and putting in content that will help your everyday life. So coincide with our daily show as well. Um, so the blog post will start following there soon as well. I'm working on lots of magic at the moment. Um, so um, watch the space. Right. And then you have little sort of um, magic uh, sprinkles now and then on the website to dive into as well. Um, and right. So that's done. And now let's get on to our topic for today. I thought about it. I thought we should have a very beautiful topic for ending a Friday afternoon. And but I thought, you know what, this topic needs to be sorted out. This topic needs to be spoken about. And um, I did actually a video on this. I was checking my page. I think um, last year sometime, I was sitting out in the garden and uh, <laughs> I just felt the need to express myself. Wow. I always do it. <laughs> it's taken me a while to get there. But you know what? When you're free and when you're in your truth and in your light, you it's comfortable. It becomes comfortable. It becomes easy. It becomes joyous. And so I did share a, a video on um, acceptance and just loving yourself and not trying so hard to fit in and be liked and be accepted by everybody else. And it's OK to be disliked and it's OK, you know, to be disliked. And um, that gives you the space to grow and to follow your soul path and to follow your soul purpose and to follow your dream. So today's um, talk, excuse me, is about whether you are a person that tries to fit in all the time and tries to be liked and tries to be accepted and is worried that if you don't fit all of this these categories of acceptance and approval and validation and whatever, that you are going to lose friends, you're going to lose family, you're going to lose uh, people very close to you. Um, or are you the type of person that's OK with being disliked and uh, is OK with following your truth and is OK with following um, your true soul path and who you really are? So I want you to dive into this topic today because I think it affects a lot of us. It definitely affected me in my journey. I mean, as from a little girl, as a young child, I always thought, you know, um, even in school and even growing up in college, and I, I always felt this, that I was always out of the box somehow. I always was different and I thought it was really wrong. I thought, how I was and what I was doing or what I liked and lots of my friends didn't like it. You know, they, they were, you know, you have cliques in schools and cliques in colleges and many of my uh, closest friends liked things different to me, not necessarily bad things, you know, it's just what they liked and they resonated with it. However, I didn't. And I always felt um, like the odd one out. And so from that space, when you're growing up from a little girl and you you getting to know yourself a little bit, um, I started feeling really sort of um, odd, <laughs> you know, very, very out of the box. I wasn't, you know, in the cliques. I um you know, I wasn't wearing the short mini dresses to school. My <laughs> Got to share that with you. Got to share my truth. My, um, I remember my school dresses. My mom used to always um, make sure that my my school dress was uh, the length of it was over my knee. Oh my god, the mockery I had for that in school. So what did I used? To, what would what do? Do we all do? We try to fit in, right? So I used to try and lift my, um, you know, where your belt is, sort of lift your uniform a bit, so you don't look so odd. Everybody dresses so short and mine's extra long and it was so obvious. Um, and so, you know, you do that. You, you, you're young and you, you try to fit in and you want to be accepted and you want to be liked by everybody and you don't want to be alone and you don't want to be the odd one out. But as you journey through life and 
you start recognizing your behaviors and you start recognizing what's happening in your life and um, what you do on a daily basis and what uh, you start recognizing what annoys you. And that's what happened to me. I started recognizing that what I was saying was very different to how I was feeling inside. I was saying things to fit in. I was, um, but you know, anything to fit in. But how I felt inside when I said it was chalk and cheese. I was annoyed inside. I was upset inside. I was just doing it because it was something that's done. And if I didn't do it, oh my goodness, again, you'll be the odd one out. But along the journey, I learned that it's the most beautiful thing to be the odd one out. It's the most beautiful thing to really be you. And when you connect with your, the inside connects with the outside, your mind connects with the rest of your body, your heart, your spirituality. When you're one in yourself, you're not separate pieces. You know, your mind's not saying one thing. You, inside of you, your intuition's saying something else. You know, um, it's all out of alignment, all out of sync. And you can feel really dreadful. I mean, I know for years, I felt awful, you know, and it actually led to bullying in school. I mean, I had a lot of friends that bullied me, a lot of friends and so-called friends, shall I say. And um, I think they were my greatest teachers actually, because I still stayed in my lane. I still stayed in my side of the, oh, my soul lane, shall I say, which wasn't the better lane or anything. It was just what I liked. And, you know, I was just sort of cruising along in that and they were cruising along in what they liked. Um, but I thought it was wrong until years and years later when I dived into uh, personal development and spirituality and self-help, I started realizing that this is what it's all about. We are going back to the truth of who we are. This is what everybody is trying to, to it's, it's, it's almost the goal, you know, to really know thyself, know thyself is what everybody is, is striving towards. And um, it took me a lot of years, and a lot of work to practice coming up here confidently on a daily show, I have to add that in. Um, but it's true, you know, you, um, it takes a long time to actually, well, it took me a long time learning and unlearning a lot of things, actually, unlearning a lot of things, unlearning a lot of conditioning. So um, why I want to dive into this topic is I hear it all the time, I experience it when we're around with friends, family, and I can see this is a sort of a consistent subject all the time. And I thought, why not share this? Why not talk about this? If there's anybody um, around, do say hello and let me know where you're watching from. And do drop a line in the comments if you felt this way, if you felt that, if you felt the odd one out or, you know, you never, uh, you know, you always had to keep that, that real you inside. Do drop a comment and let me know you know, what your journey has been like and share and interact because by doing that, you lighten what's happening with you and you, you're you giving yourself permission, you're allowing yourself permission to actually get to the crux of it, release it and move on. This is what we want to do in a nutshell, right? So um, let's talk about being disliked. Being disliked is actually a really good thing because excuse me, you, you're actually standing up for something. You, we are, you know, you're standing up for something you believe in. How beautiful is that? And, you know, living your truth is not, um, it's not saying that I don't give a damn about what anybody thinks and I'm just going to be a rude ass. Real talk, you know, real talk. Mind my language, but it's real talk. I'm just going to be somebody that's really rude and, um, and use my living my truth as an excuse to be nasty. No, we're not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying by living your truth um, and, and, and being that way, you actually, and well, it's actually about being kind. It's about being real. It's about being genuine. You'll come from a space of compassion, love, and kindness because there's no expectation. There's no expectation of wanting approval 
or wanting validation or wanting somebody to like you for what you said and did. So you don't come from a space of resistance. You're actually coming from a space of kindness, love, compassion, genuinity, authenticity, being you. Because there's there's no there's not a string attached that's, you know, there's there's not that push and pull anymore. You're just being you in all your light. And what's more beautiful than that? What's more beautiful than accepting you for you? That is that is the most peaceful thing that you can do for yourself. Well, it was definitely for me. I mean, gosh, it, it uh, chokes me up every time I think about it when I started on that journey. It just gave me so much of freedom. It's so liberating just to be who you are. And um, when you start getting comfortable not um, being liked by everybody, what it does is it actually allows you to be your true self. Just looking at little Robin sitting on my, distracted there, little Robin sitting on my, um, on the tree just out here. Cutest little thing ever. Sorry for the interruption, but it's got the most orangey red, you know, um, sort of, to my hair, sort of breast here and dark brown hair and the cutest black beady eyes. It's the cutest little Robin I've ever seen. Oh, it's almost like I want to bring him onto the daily live show. Maybe he's come to bless us and show us his originality and authenticity. Cute, isn't it? Um, I wish I could show him to you, but if I turn the webcam, he's going to fly away, right? Um, so let's get back to it. So as I'm saying, when you're comfortable by not uh, being liked by everybody, it allows you freedom, it allows you to be yourself, it gives you the power to say no, it gives you the power to say no in a genuinely nice way, you know, not in an arrogant way. It also, um, how shall I say, it prepares you for greater success. You start living life from your lane, you start living life from uh, your positivity lane, your genuine, authentic lane. and. You know, you're not expecting anything from anybody. You're not seeking validation. You're not seeking approval. It just becomes more joyous. Your life and your, your living becomes a lot more joyous. Um, and what happens as well, and this is something that, I'm still looking at the robin because it's so cute. <laughs> um, what happens is when you start being yourself and you've gotten over that whole approval, neediness, validation crap, right? And you are now getting to know the real you. When people start liking your that space, that is what you want. That is actually the prerequisite for liking somebody. Like them for who they are for their originality, for their authenticity, for who they genuinely are. And then, you know, the right people will like you, the right people will love you. Um, it won't be a um, turmoil in you, won't be a turmoil in them. There'll be more trust, there'll be more love. Relationships will get better. You'll start attracting from a better point of view, a more original, original attraction as well. Um, and you know, your life soars from that space. It it takes off, it, well, it takes you off to new heights because you're living from a space of, it's peaceful. That's all I can say. It's really peaceful. It's uh, not that you don't give a flying, you know, about what other people think. Of course not. However, what you're exhibiting and what you're saying is, I have my own truth. I have something to share. I am who I am. And whether you like me or not is not going to um, affect my approval of myself. That's all. You know, there's a lot of people's opinions around. People are going to be opinionated for the rest of your life. And if you go and judge yourself by their opinions, doomsday is where you're heading because there's no spiraling out of it. You will always continuously be affected. And social media, as beautiful as it is, and so grateful for this platform, 
um, is, is one of the places where, you know, everybody's seeking for some sort of approval, whether it's likes or whatever it is, you know, there's, there's that validation required. But if you're serving from a space of genuineness and kindness and compassion, even if it's about quality and not quantity at the end of the day, even if it touches one person, hey, I am happy. It's about service. I'm, I'm talking about myself here. I'm talking about um, uh, social media, giving you an example. Um, so just try this weekend. You know, you want to wear that bright yellow top tomorrow and it's a really dull day. Go and do it. Trust me, you'll brighten up people's moods. What's the worst that could go wrong? People are going to stare at you thinking, oh, my goodness, who does she think she is? People are going to go, oh, my goodness, there's no sunshine today. But look at this gorgeous girl walking past with that yellow top. Just brightened my day. I don't know what effect you, know, effect you have on people. Um, so I would try this week. Oh, I do love a, a beautiful quote that I'm just thinking of right now by Byron Katie. And I'm trying to think what it says. It's not your job to like me. It's mine. How true is that? It's not your job to like me. It's mine. You are the only person that should approve of you. What happens is we are the ones that are comparing ourselves with the people. We're trying to fit in. So you seen as normal. What is the definition of normal these days? Anyway, drop a comment. I'd love to hear it. What's normal? You know, who who's defined this? normal state i mean what is normal what is right all it's you know half of this whole thing is all man-made anyway you know everybody's made these rules well how can you live like that with that limitation of yes there's certain rules you know as, as a society as a humanity we follow but being yourself should be Freedom, being yourself should be remarkably liberating, right? I mean, the people that become amazing comedians, amazing uh, singers, artists that just, you, you know, you get wowed by them. They are the ones that just didn't give a toss about what anybody thought. They followed their passion. And in following that passion, They've touched millions of lives, millions of lives, zillions of lives, because they went ahead with what, what um, you know, lights them up. They went ahead with that despite, and let me tell you something, and this is what I'm experiencing at the moment as well. Surprise, surprise. Well, I'm ready for it anyway. It doesn't bother me. Um, the more and more you you are yourself and the more and more you try new things and the more and more you um you know say your business is succeeding or you are growing and shifting in your spiritual journey or your personal development and you're not going to remain the same right let's just get real here you're never going to be the same if you are journeying through personal development and self-help and whatever in this industry and you're trying different things and you're trying different courses and you're trying to better yourself as a human being and you're trying to find who you are, you're not going to be the same person you were 10 years ago. So, yes, you are going to drop away with some friends, family, um, you know, and because nobody's going to, well, people aren't going to start resonating with you anymore. And then they're going to think, oh, my goodness, she's changed. She's really weird. Don't know why she's like that. Well, you know, we don't resonate, whatever and relationships fall away. But that's growth. That is growth. That is personal development. That is shifting your mindset, shifting your perspective, growing, evolving into the person you were meant to be. It's going to happen. And that doesn't mean you're not good enough and you should have been nicer and, oh, my goodness, you know, you start sort of questioning your worthiness and you're questioning your you know, you start, again, seeking for validation and what have you. 
what happens is when when these things happen and when people fall away or you know walk away or things shift in that it's a good thing it's a good thing because like i said on the video yesterday everybody's journeying through and learning and growing so as it is as it has been a good time for you to grow it's a good time for them to grow there's a learning in their path as well there's no good and bad and so and so and we're not talking about that we're talking about growth here and when you are in that um, sort of journey these things are going to happen not everybody's going to like you all the time not everybody is going you know you're not going to fit in with everything all the time and it's okay it's okay because the more and more and more you become genuinely who you are you know it's a journey there's no finality in this because trust me at 85 there'll be something else that you learning right so it's it's a it's a it's an evolvement, it's a journey, it's every day we are growing and learning and looking at things differently. How boring would life be if we weren't? I mean, imagine if everybody was just really happy and blissful and joyous and nothing, there was no contrast, and nobody liked and everybody liked everybody. And what's the point of being here then? It's just gonna be one happy place to be, and trust me, we'll start we'll start human beings. You're always looking at the opposite thing, right? The sun is shining bright and hot, and what do we do? <gasps> it's too hot, it's too hot. Oh my goodness, let's put the fans on. You know, we've been waiting for the sunlight for two months. Oh, put the fan on, it's too hot, can't take the heat. Always look, look, always going to the opposite side. Got straight hair, one curly hair. So that's what will happen. If everybody was really happy and everybody loved and liked each other, trust me, as human beings, we'll find something else. <laughs> we'll find something else to add to the mix. So contrast is necessary. You know, not being liked is necessary for your growth, to make you more confident, to make you more resilient, to make you believe in who you are. It takes courage. It takes a step and commitment from your side to decide. I'm gonna walk my truth no matter what. From a kind and loving space with compassion. And by doing that, as you start journeying and as you start living from the space, the right people will be by your side. The right people will come into the mix because you're going to be attracting from a new space, from a space of growth, from a space of confidence. You're not attracting because what happens is also when you are seeking validation and when you are seeking approval and when you are seeking or you're coming from a space of neediness and victimhood and thinking the whole world's against you and i'm not liked and that self-talk carries on you actually have a think about what's happening in your life when you are like that um oh, my microphone is moving jumping around let's put that right is that better yeah so think about what's happening. What are you attracting? You will attract the same sort of people. You will attract the same vibe to you. To attract a, a different vibe, so say for example, you're journeying through and you're clearing your mess on the inside, right? And you, you're going past all the belief systems and, and what have you. As you are cleansing within, your point of attraction cleanses as well because you are then attracting from that point. So as past relationships fall away, and like I said yesterday, who knows, the circle can complete and people can learn and evolve and grow and then again come together. Um, however, when, when that does happen, when people do fall away and things like that and you feel bad and you think, oh my goodness, I'm not light and whatever, whatever self-talk is going on, um, you then will start attracting people that you need to learn from or that have your current vibe. So you're talking about the same things, like-minded souls that, uh, you know, you're getting, you sort of start interacting with them. So every step and every bit of that journey uh, starts becoming uh, one sort of, uh, it's a beautiful stage 
you know, there's, there's an act happening at every level and you, you then attract from that, that point. Um, so embrace it, embrace it. Like I always say, embrace it, you know, and if you feeling, um, that you are in this space, do drop a comment in, do drop a comment in and, and let's chat, let's chat about this. Let's see where you are in your journey. Um, because by bottling up and keeping things on the inside, trust me, it's never worked for me. And I, I think as women, it never works for us. Right, ladies, whoever's on here, do drop a comment and tell me, tell me yes, if you think you can bottle, you know, if you think you can bottle everything up inside, drop me a yes. Um, I mean, drop me a no. What am I saying? Drop me a no. <laughs> um, but if you feel that, you are ready for transformation. You're ready for being yourself and you're ready to become this confident being. Then this weekend, try and do something out of your norm. Step into that power. You can give yourself that permission. Only you can give yourself that permission. So whatever it is, you know, you haven't danced for a long time and you want to go out partying tomorrow night and you feel like having a dance, you're worried about what everybody thinks because you haven't danced for so long. You know what? Go and do it tomorrow. Okay? Permission has been given. I'm kidding. But just go and do it. Just go and free yourself. Free yourself. I did a singing. Um, oh, we've gone past our time today, but never mind. It's, it's, it's a good topic to dive into. I, I sang on my uh, Facebook group, Aspiring Women Awakening. Do go and have a look at my song. Um, I love Bollywood singing and um, I love the Bollywood music. And there was just this one morning I got into my vibe and I thought, you know what, screw this. It's been too long since I have not shown the world my voice and I'm not keeping it, keeping this light in me any longer. And I just went on no thinking about it too much. This is what happens with us human beings. We think too much about it and then all the self-talk starts. I just went on and I sang. So do check it out. And it was the most liberating, liberating day for me. I felt amazing, amazing, amazing. So um, my wish for you this weekend, ladies and gentlemen, is go and do something that lights you up and you'll start stepping into your power and you'll start feeling good about yourself and you will slowly see by doing one thing like that every day or every second day, if you don't want to push it too much, um, you'll start seeing that you are walking taller, you know, you're walking more confidently, you are, you're not worried too much about other people's opinions um, and you start really enjoying and you'll have people asking you, trust me, do it for about three weekends in a row when you're around friends and family and people will start asking you, what are you doing differently? You seem really, you seem, you know, um, you seem happy or you, you know, you'll get these, I got them, you know, for so many years when I was doing all of this, I got, what are you doing? Like. You know, there's something different about you. And, and then inside you're going, yes, 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 that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Yes, yes, I am. I am on my path. That's why I'm having this great vibe. Beautiful, beautiful. Because what's happening is you're inspiring people. You're inspiring people by being yourself. So mwah, that's my story for today. That's my live show for today. Go out there. It's okay to be disliked. Live your truth, shine your light, be happy, be happy, you know, be genuinely happy from the inside. So I hope this has inspired you to um, live your light, live your light. Do one thing this weekend that's really going to rev your engines up. That's really going to make you feel, hey, you know, actually, I don't need the approval of other people. Hey, you don't know, actually, I don't need validation about who I am. Just that one little thing will make you start going, sifting and sorting, like I say, and opening your road and opening your path. And um, that's what I want for you. And that's that's the um, the joy. That, that's where the joy is. So namaskar. And um, again, to all of you, have a fantastic weekend. So, of course, I'm doing this Monday to Friday at 1 o'clock. 
And um, what I'm going to do is do it Monday to Friday at one o'clock for two weeks. So we've done it um, from Tuesday to Friday this week because Monday here was a uh, public holiday. And I'm going to do it again Monday to Friday next week at one o'clock just to see if the timing is right for everybody and that you are being able to, I'm just checking my other computer, that you've been able to watch this video and actually be, be on when I am live. Um, and then I'm going to change the timing after two weeks to possibly 3.30ish UK BST time and uh, see how that works. And by uh, testing it, we'll, we'll get the timing right as well. So um, lots of love to everyone. Mwah. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. Shine your light bright. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks of you. The only person that, that should you should be answerable to is yourself. And the only person that needs to approve of you is you. So enjoy, love yourself more. And oh, before I forget, um, there was something I was going to share with you. And I know we, uh, I know we over time, trying to have a think. Ah, there was an affirmation that I was going to share with you. Yes, this is it. When you are doing that one thing this weekend, that's that you're dying to do actually inside, but just don't have the guts to do it because you're worried about what everybody else thinks. And you do it and you're just a little bit scared. Just say in your mind, I choose to love, honor, love and honor myself. Yeah, let's keep it simple. I choose to love and honor myself. I choose to love and honor myself. I'm the only one that needs to approve of me. I love and accept who I am in all my light. Use that as an affirmation if you feel a bit uncomfortable as you are stepping out. So lots of love, have a fantastic weekend, and you'll catch me again on Monday at 1 p.m. Bye for now.